Okay, so now for the final part of this course, we're going to cover how to save and export Photoshop files. So I'm just going to choose any documents. If I go to Photoshop Beginners Essentials, the folder, all of these zip files. And if I go to For Layer Mask, there is a file over here, Layer Mask PSD, Photoshop file. And I'm going to show you how to save these this file in different formats. So first of all, if I wanted to save this as a Photoshop file, I would have to go File, Save As, Save on my computer. I can save it to my desktop and it will be a Photoshop file PSD. I click on Save and it will appear on my desktop. And here it is. Now, if you're using a PC, it will have the PS, the Photoshop icon. Great. Now let's look at another way of saving it. So if I go to file, save as save on my computer and I go to format, I have a wide range of formats that I can save it to. Probably the most used one will be JPEG. You could also save it as a PDF or a PNG, which we'll look at later. And a TIFF is a very high quality file. So let's select JPEG. And again, I'll save it to my desktop and click on save. Now this window will come up and here I get to choose the quality. So the higher the quality, the larger the file size. So this is the preview of the size of the file. So it's currently 1.5 megabytes. Now, if you wanted to reduce the file size, you would have to reduce the quality a little bit. Now you can see it's almost 500 kilobytes, so half a megabyte. So you can play with this and determine the file size and find kind of the sweet spot between achieving a high quality image whilst keeping it a small file size. So you can choose uh, any option you want. And when you're happy, you click on OK. You minimize it and there we go. That's my JPEG. Now let's go back to our Photoshop file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the background layer BG so that there is no background layer. You can currently only see the pixel grid and I'm going to go to file, save as, save on your computer and I'm going to choose PNG. The reason I choose PNG is because PNG gives you the option of having a clear or transparent background, which is very good for cutouts, for logos, for icons, for anything that you don't want a background for. And again, I'm going to save it to my desktop, click on save. Again, I can choose between large file size, medium and small. I'm just going to choose medium and click on OK. And again, I'm going to minimize this and here it is. And if I press return, it is a clear background. So if I were to open this with Photoshop, you would see that it has no background except, um, I guess I forgot to remove that little white bit but it has no background. So if I were to drag this to another document, it would have a clear background. It would be a cutout. Another thing you could do is you could go to file, export and export layers to files. What this would do is it would export every single layer in its own file. So you can have a layer just for the background, a layer just for the nail polish, etc., etc. So file export layers to files and I'm going to select my desktop again and I can choose the format I want it in. So I could save it as a PNG or a JPEG. Let's go with PNG and click on run. And it's currently saving each individual layer as its own file. Didn't have too many layers, so we have 
the cutout of the nail polish and the background and apparently I had a few backgrounds there. Now I did mention before that if you had multiple artboards, you can always go to file, export artboards to files, which is currently grayed out here because we currently have no artboards. And then that will be how you save individual and multiple artboards. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you get to practice everything and save all your files that you've been working on and make some really cool creations and be creative. And I would love to see what you come up with. It's been a pleasure working with you. I'll see you soon.